Squid Game Season 1, Episode Number 5. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here to next week's episode of Squid Game, and we are at the halfway point for the season, man. Last episode, I think would I think last episode is safe to say has been the biggest cliffhanger of the series thus far, man. Obviously, we kind of ended it in the middle of our tug of war game, right on the edge. One team is going to die. Our team or the other. I'm fucking nervous, man. Obviously, it kind of cut off as they were taking those couple big steps forward, man. So I'm assuming that's what we're going to pick up at the start of this episode to see what happens with it, man. I got faith in my team. I got faith in number one, baby. But I'm excited for this. It's crazy that we are already halfway through this series, man. I've been fucking enjoying it. I've been loving it, man. Like I said, I don't know if I've mentioned it before, but starting this series, I did not expect to love it this much. I expected to like it. You know, there's a lot of hype around it, a lot of, you know, good things being said about it. But this 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 has quickly became one of my favorite shows that I've checked out more so recently, man. So I'm super excited to hop into this episode, guys. I'm gonna stop wasting time. We're gonna go ahead. We're gonna hop into this episode. Before we do, I do ask if you guys are new to the channel, you do hit that subscribe button, comment down below what you guys want to see next man. Drop a like on the video for your boy. For reaction, I'll be up on Patreon as well as early access in the next two episodes. If you guys want to check that out, link in the description down below. But we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna hop into this episode. I'm nervous, dude. You never know what this show. This show's fucking crazy as hell. Oh, we are picking up right here. Damn, he's literally hanging over the edge. All of them fell though. Y'all better, y'all better react quick. This is probably the most intense game of tug of war they've ever had here, man. Assuming there's been other times. Yeah, look at them, man. They all on the ground. My man Song Wu a college man, baby. Look at number one, too. He's getting his pulling in. Dude, that's the sad part, though. It's like you're about to win, but you're also about to end all these people's lives, man. You know what I mean? Like, the, the other games were different because you didn't kill control other people's lives. This one, you're essentially killing people, so this one's a little bit different. Yeah, you better cut that rope quick, man. The fact that they let them get pulled a little bit. Ugh. Imagine they couldn't hold them up. Song Wu low-key saved him. Not low-key, just straight up. <laughs> if he hadn't uh, said to do that, you know. But I mean, again, it's a different feeling on this one because you can tell, like, you could tell by the look in Gihan's face, you know, when he was looking at that guy, he was about to fall over. He's like, damn, I'm about to kill this guy. I'm about to end his life, essentially. The other ones was different, you know. It was basically you survive and you're good. Other people die. It's on them. This one, you're you're being the cause of it. And again, some people survived that fall. That's wow. Number one in Song Woo. That's facts, man. Hey, if he wants to pray, let him pray, but that is facts. If he wants to pray, let him pray. That's just crazy, man. Riding in that, get, get. I like that they included that scene of riding in the elevator, just seeing where everybody's heads at, man. <sighs> yeah, that is true, man. She's the one who recruited her. I thought they were gonna end up being friends, you know. Look, this team's all happy about it. This team's happy about it. Meanwhile, you know, our team feels sad about it. That's what I'm saying. There's two different people. People who are here. Everyone's here because they have to be here. But there's people that like what they're getting to do here. And there's people that don't like what they're getting to do here. Mm. Okay, I get it. 
So are they harvesting the organs from people that are barely alive still? Because that they marked that box for that guy that was barely alive. Is that what they're doing? They're harvesting, or I don't know about you, you, the doctor is working on the guys, you know, that are still barely alive. He's not taking organs from people that are dead. Is that what it is? Forty people left. Wow. <laughs> She is so annoying, bro. <sighs> she is so annoying. <laughs> Facts, Ali. <sighs> Why keep you when we can ditch you? That's annoying, man. I can't stand her. She need just kick her out. Facts. It's different over here. <laughs> man, dude. I cannot stand her, dude. I don't give a fuck. I, I can't stand her at all. Mm. You can't trust anybody, man. There's only 40 people left. That's right, man. They could just pick each other off now. <laughs> Facts. Create some division. Yes, sir. That's smart. That's facts. Survival of the fittest, man, at the end of the day. That's right, man. Create some fucking division. Smart. I mean, that is true. At the end of the day, man, I feel like they will at some point turn on each other. And this is going to be the start of it, huh? <laughs> oh, sure. <laughs> now that now there won't be any fighting tonight. What's the point in hiding it though? Does the does the main dude um the front man, I think is what they called him. Does he not know they're doing that? He has to know, right? The old man. He's already stayed up all night once, man. Leave him alone. Of course. Man, ah, uh, dude, I just seeing heartwarming moments because it, it, it's like moments like that, dude, you know, where they're trying to work together, trying to take watch. You know what I mean? Seeing moments like that. I don't know. It just makes me even more sad for what's going to happen to some of these characters, dude. I mean, I guess multiple people can get out, but do I really think that's going to happen? Who knows what the next couple games are going to be? My man number one, too, he saved y'all asses in the fucking tug of war game. Stop talking down on him like he ain't worth shit. Piss me off. Mm. Mm. I feel like Song Wu feels a little bad, a little guilty, because... You know, Ali's sitting here treating him like he's a super good person, but he knows deep down he did that shit to survive for himself because on the last game, he let y'all go just pick whatever, you know? Mm. He doesn't want to say, man, because his reason is a little more selfish because he stole from people. Mm. Yeah, his reason is a little more selfish. He stole from people. All these here for his family and all that. Song Wu kind of fucked himself. But still, I still feel bad for him, man. I do.
feel bad for anybody in a situation like this. Mm. He's trying to talk to him. Oh, he recognizes his voice is different. Wow. Okay. That conversation he had had with him, uh, with, with the, with the, when he went to get the body last time and he told me you'd have to make the swim alone. So I guess number 29 saved his life on another, ver uh, on another dive they did. So now he says they're kind of even, maybe that's why he's communicating with him so much. Obviously they work together in this sense. They're the ones that transport this shit. Facts. It's not exactly prime environment. You know what I mean? Ugh. Is that his heart? Yeah, but that ain't worth all this, bro. <laughs> you know what I mean? I feel like this is invaluable to them. I, I, I'm curious as to what they do with it. Obviously, they deliver, so I'm assuming they just make sales, right? Oh, fuck. Somebody gonna wake him up? Why you wake him up like that? Just fucking... Hey, <laughs> don't go for his fucking neck. Wow, he killed a pa his own patient? That's fucked up. I guess it's just because that one body that was alive maybe wasn't supposed to go down there. Oh shit, what the fuck is this? Maybe it wasn't supposed to go down there, so they are just harvesting from all the bodies. That one just so happened to be alive. Damn, so he killed one of his patients on accident? What the fuck is happening? Is he seeing things? What the fuck is going on? Wait, what the fuck is happening? He must be seeing things. This must have been part of his nightmare. What the fuck? That's fucked up. Just laid off like that. Mm, this is how things went so bad for him in life. Wow, man, we're finally getting his backstory. Mm, he heard about it. Wow, he knew. Small world. Yeah, someone died when he was seeing him. I wonder who that was. Maybe his friend? Uh, Tumor's getting worse and worse. Mm, she's helping. She's starting to open up a little bit more. Wow. Mm. Wow, fuck, he messed up. Mm. <laughs> My man's fed up. My man is fed up. He just wants some peace while he's operating, man. These dudes have been fucking with him the whole time. My man was ready though, shit. He's getting closer and closer to getting discovered. And he really cares for him, dude. Dude, what happens if he can't continue into the next games, dude? Does he... They're gonna just kill him. You can tell she's she she's she's a good person. She just she feels like she can't trust anybody in life, man, and she's she's got to look out for herself, you know. Oh, I don't know. Her character's pretty interesting, though. This is some next level shit, man. You know what I mean? Like this, 
they really incorporated this shit into the show too. It wasn't just the games. Now we're gonna get to see them make this deal too. He's fed up, man. Cause I mean, I get it. Not only is he having to do all these fucking surgeries, or you know what I mean, but he still gotta play in these games, dude. And he, let's be real, if, he would not survive these games if he didn't have an upper hand like that, you know. Come on, man, you gotta follow. Even I could guess that shit. <laughs> He's acting way too suspicious, man. I know it's got to be hard for him in a place like this, too, but fuck. Damn, they tunneled their way out of here? Oh, I couldn't do it, bro. I know that's a pretty decent-sized tunnel, but I'm claustrophobic as fuck. I could not do that. <laughs> no, sir, not me. There, this is definitely a trick. This is definitely a trick. Yep. I seen that coming a mile away, bro. Damn! He's in it now. Oh, he's about to get his shit beat. He's in it now, man. He don't have no choice. Fuck. Oh, they just lost their doctor. Not only that, but this dude's on the escape now. He's on the run in this place. Fuck. Mm. What the fuck? Imagine they don't even give the winner the prize money, dude. You know what I mean? They just you did this so they could harvest people's organs and shit. And then when everyone's gone, they just disappear. God. And then they escape through here. Oh my gosh. Has he seen 29's face before this though? Oh, he has the gun. There's no cameras down here, huh? <laughs> How the tables have turned. Mm. Oh, was that his brother? Oh, shit. That's his brother. Wow. I wonder how they got all these workers. Are these workers people that just... I don't know, man. How, how do you become a worker here? You know what I mean? What the fuck? He was watching, huh? Shit. That's fucked up. Dude, that's fucked up, man. Like, all this shit they're doing here is fucked up, but it's like each time, you know, we learn something even more fucked up. He wants to live. Nah, dude. He wants to live, but he's... F dude, all these people here are fucked up, man. This dude, they're harvesting people's organs. They beat somebody to death. They raped her and then be like, dude, nah, these people are just fucked up. Mm. So he didn't care what they he knew they were doing something with the bodies. He just didn't know he was having a player help them, huh? Okay. Mm. This is such an interesting aspect, man. I didn't expect him to kill the doctor, too. What the fuck? Oh my god, dude. 
What the fuck is happening to number one? Is he dying? Why was he just laying there like that? List of players, 1999. So do they, they do this each year? How long have they been doing this shit for? What the fuck? Every single year, man. I wonder if 99 was the first year they did it or if there's even older ones. If it goes back even further. Oh man, that's why he didn't want to get up. That's sad, man. He's old. He's got a tumor in his brain, bro. Who the fuck cares? Who cares that he pissed himself, man? The list of winners from each year? Is that his brother? His brother played back in 2015 and he won? Then why the fuck didn't he ever come home? Wow, dude. Wait, if he if he played back in 2015 and he won, why the fuck didn't he ever come home? Let me go back for time and make sure I'm not, you know what I'm saying, missing nothing, because what the fuck? List of winners. Well, first of all, let me let me double check too here on the first year. So 1988 is when they first did it. 2015 28th game squid player 132. 28 squid game player 132 yeah he won he won he won wow sorry i'm taking a couple extra notes guys for a uh, future reference you know what i'm saying but uh squid game season one episode number five is in the books ladies and gentlemen wow that's how we're ending it dude this uh this this police officer is definitely <laughs> dude's in over his head man i i don't know if he's gonna escape this not only that so how the fuck, how long has his brother been missing? Like, I'm, I'm a little bit confused here because I thought his brother went missing, like, recently, you know? Like, this is 2020 in current time for this game that's going on. This is the 2020 Squid Games. It says his brother won the 2015 Squid Games. So if his brother won the 2015 Squid Games, why is he looking for him five years later? You know what I mean? Has he been missing for this long? Do they have family problems? You know what I mean? Like, what the fuck? Like, I'm confused as fuck as to what's going on with that situation, man. I don't know if I'm missing something or I just don't have all the pieces of the puzzle yet. But what the fuck, man? That's crazy. He's... Nah, he can't be undercover no more. I don't know what the fuck he's gonna do, dude. I think he's either gonna end up dying or he has to escape this place somehow ASAP. Because they're never gonna stop looking for him, man. And it's not like... I mean, I guess he could just kill another person, another um, worker or another guard or another supervisor and take their mask and stuff but i don't know if he's gonna be able to do that oh dude this is gonna be interesting like fuck man i wonder what the fuck is gonna happen to him and then number one dude his tumor is getting worse and worse that's why he was staying in the bed dude was embarrassed to get up because he you know he pissed his pants he's old and he has a tumor dude who the fuck cares you know shit happens i feel bad for him man he's he's sitting there embarrassed as fuck about it dude I feel so bad for him, man. I, I just uh, I just want number one to make it out of here and fucking win, dude. You know? That, that, oh, I just feel like he's not gonna. I feel like he's gonna die. I don't know if he's gonna die in a game. I don't know if he's gonna die right now. I don't know if he's gonna die from the tumor. But I feel like he's gonna die, man. I really do. And it sucks. It's sad, dude. But I don't know. I'm kind of curious as to what the next couple games are gonna be. Um, I think there's... I can't remember if they said there was five or six games in total. So we got two or three games left. And obviously we still got five episodes left, man. So we still got a while to go, but it's very interesting to see, you know, the different, as we kind of get a, a bigger look into this place. So they've been doing it since 1988. So what's that? 32 years they've been doing this shit and they haven't been fucking caught. They haven't been stopped or anything, man, which is pretty crazy. 32 years. So I wonder what the fuck happens to the winners. Like I know they say they get the money and stuff but you're going the thing is bro when you think about it if you win this shit they've been doing this for 32 years unnoticed and obviously i'm assuming each each winner gets 
about the same amount of prize money you know i'm assuming they have around you know somewhere around four to five hundred players each time so you know however much money per player and then they get out so you're telling me these people just disappear from society for who who knows how long how much time passes in here i don't know if it's weeks months or what or just you know days but you're telling me these people i'm assuming it is just days actually because we see each night kind of so probably like a couple weeks in total you tell me these people disappear for a couple weeks most of them just disappear forever because they die you know people aren't questioning where the fuck people are going you know their families and stuff aren't questioning where they're at and like why a couple hundred people are coming up missing each year and then one person or a couple of people i guess because there can be multiple winners who are an insane amount of debt and broke as fuck just randomly come out and have all this money to pay off their debt all this money for shit and to live their life like there's got to be some catch to it like i don't know man i feel like maybe they either don't give the play the winners the money or maybe they make them go move somewhere else or live somewhere else or they restrict them some way somehow i don't know because i feel like if they've been doing this since 88 bro word would have gotten out and this shit would have got shut down some way somehow unless this is being you know operated by like the gut like some high ups in the government because i was under the impression that this is just like some you know small scale random shit going on but maybe this is some some shit being operated by the governments up there you know by by, by some people high up in the government or something i don't know man i just feel like it would have got exposed after this long of being in it you know whether it's from a survivor or from a winner or for some from someone who escaped or from someone who broke in like this police officer you know i feel like at some point they would have got exposed but maybe not you know again we don't know what's really gonna happen the thing is too it's I, I wonder where they get the workers from you know because the the worker who got killed this episode said they care more about the players than the workers and stuff like that so not only that how do you even become a worker here how much do you get paid how do you become a worker and just be set free after you witnessed all that and trusted you know what i mean like there's so many questions i got of how this hasn't been exposed yet and maybe we'll get answers as it comes you know as as the time comes maybe they kill off all the workers at the end of the games each year maybe they kill off all the players maybe they make the winner move somewhere else or something along those lines but even at that all these missing people coming up each year in society that's a couple hundred people you know what i mean you count the workers that's probably upwards of 600 people if that's what they're doing again i have no idea i'm sure we're gonna get the answers as the show continues and finishes up i'm super interested in, in it you know it, it's very it's very thought provoking man because there's so many different things that it could be and so many different ways it could go man and then not only that selling the organs of the bodies and stuff and having all them tunnels set up and the, like who are the vips i was under the assumption that the vip i thought it would just be a vip and it would be you know the front man the the main dude but vips as in plural doesn't make sense because clearly they don't care about the workers so i wonder who the vips actually are man so many questions and i'm sure we'll get answers man let me know what you guys thought about it in the comment section down below like always also if you guys did enjoy this reaction video make sure to leave a like if you guys are new to the channel hit that subscribe button full reaction will be up on patreon as well as early access to the next two episodes if you guys want to check that out link in the description down below i hope you all have a wonderful day and i'll see you in the next one what is going on everybody i hope you guys all did enjoy that video you just checked out if you did, make sure to drop a like and comment down below. What is a movie or TV series that you guys would like to see me react to next? I want to give a couple quick shout outs to some of my highest tier supporters over on Patreon, man. Shout out to the homie That's So Gordo, the homie Silas Kane, and the homie Alexander Collins. I appreciate your guys' insane support, man. If you guys want to join the Patreon family, link is on screen right now as well as in the description down below. I hope you guys all have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next one.